My oil painting set out to explore the relationship between victim and perpetrator. They aim to bring the non-objective reality into the tangible. I attach myself to shapes that demonstrate my relationship to harm, and by treating an essence as solid, I am able to reclaim my body from a dissociative state. The mission displayed in the colors and motifs alluding to flesh, bones, and blood. The human body. The in-between is filled with spirit. Liminality encompassing wisdom and guidance is an idea present throughout many folk traditions, thus making threshold spaces frequently visited by those who seek guidance. It is a sacred pilgrimage in solitude, similar to my artistic approach. What are the thresholds in my life and what knowledge did they bring? This exhibition is centered around biophilia, the innate human instinct to connect with nature and other living beings. Specifically, I am connecting biophilia to my perception of home. In my exhibition, I attempt to bring the soothing essence of nature into the hostility of home in order to blur the distinct boundary between the two. My exhibition is based on a theme of dynamism and movement, a theme which aims to reflect the constant energy and unbalance of life around us. The works in my exhibition present an exploration of how I experience motion in my life, exploring aspects such as flow, shape, color, balance, and structure, and invite the audience to sense motion both physically and conceptually. Through a vivid and broad color palette I'm expressing in my exhibition Blue Mood, the journey of my pure subconscious, which is the most honest version of uh, my personal emotions, and I'm expressing it in repetitively abstract portraits um, captured in a very transformative state, from one to the next, from the very conscious to the very subconscious mind. Being away from home and coming to Norway allowed or perhaps even forced me to face my inner self, inner flaws, an issue I had hidden from before. So the present artwork is my inner reflection and particularly the habits and choice I've made, experience I had during my stay in Norway. Growing up in a family culture influenced strongly by interactions with nature, I have always been in awe of the strong force and unpredictability it possesses. In my exhibition, I explore the coexistence between humans and nature, which has evolved from focusing on my own experiences with nature towards a more holistic view of humans' interactions with it. My exhibition is a brutally honest confrontation of the self challenging the everyday rituals and setbacks of the manifestation of mental illness. Through exploring the disparities between my own view of myself and reality, the pieces speak on a personal level about how my depression reveals itself in a hatred towards myself and my body. On a universal level, it addresses the human condition beyond me and my distorted self-image, discussing the critical nature of thinking. Through a psychoanalytical process, this exhibition acknowledges the voices that control my thinking and thus weaken their power.
What is space? Is it physical or mental? Illusionary or something else? My exhibition explores these questions by visiting each of them implicitly and explicitly. My exhibition started with the idea of home. Is it a physical place or a feeling? Or is it something that you only imagine exists? By exploring this, my work revolves around my memories of specific places that I have been surrounded by using a bold palette and abstract language. The Extinction of Identity This exhibition is an extension of my personal reality concerning the death of my father, his absence in my life and his lost identity. I allow myself to enter a barren land of memories that I have of him, exploring the sensitive areas of my heart to unravel the raw and volatile emotions I had chosen to bury deep inside my subconscious mind at the age of five. My work reflects the fragility of highly sensitive people who have an increased sensitivity to emotional, social and physical stimuli. Due to my inherent sense of empathy and sensitivity, I experience all ranges of emotions of people around me very intensely. I have visualized the cyclical nature of emotional exhaustion and recovery in correspondence to the growth and decay of nature by working with the metaphor of seasons. My work explores the interaction between my mind and my surroundings by confronting the amount of control I have over my thoughts. Through a deliberate use of materials, my work depicts the contrast between the stability and control I sought over my mind and the reality of my thoughts' chaos. Each piece challenges the viewer's initial impression, being both a projection of my own mind and a fluid stimulus for individual perception. The exhibition as a whole explores my personal journey from a confrontation of the unstable nature of perception to acceptance of it.